feel the need to share with you that I've tried to make this video like five times now. And I don't know why it's so difficult for me. But here it goes. I think I can get this done. Um, how to graph a system of linear inequalities on your TI Inspire CX cast. I chose these two equations, that, these two inequalities that I want to graph, and I chose them because they are in standard form. <clears throat> and it's easier to graph when they're out of slope intercept form. So I just want to show you that your calculator can easily translate this for you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get out of this is just a note page. So I'm going to go to control document here and it just offers me something different and I'm going to add calculator and you and I are on the same page now. And what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to put in that inequality but I'm going to put it in as if it was an equation and I'm going to have it solve itself for for y. So I just use the solve function SOLV solve and then I put it in as x plus 2y is equal to negative 2, comma, I want it to solve for y, right? Hit enter, and you get, and we get this, okay? From here, I'm going to cover this up. And from here, I would hit control C. All right? Control C copies it. You don't see anything happening yet. But when I get down to here, if I hit control V, well, these for a new version of it I get that why is it important um, be careful not to get this Y here because if you do the calculator won't do what you want it to do next and what I want it to do next is I want to save this thing so I want to say control store see the buttons lighting, lighting up red there F of X you see the X is, F is already bold because I already had a, a function in there as F of X it's going to replace it for me so it just says done, and I know that was kind of anticlimactic, but you'll see what happens in a second. Then I'm going to put the next inequality in, which, and I'm going to say solve. Can you go back and look at this for a second? It says SOLV solve, but it's in italics. When I hit enter, if your calculator sets it up in the standard print, it means your calculator recognizes that if this is a function, this is a, that is a function of the calculator that it can perform. So this is the solve function. So X minus Y and we're going to set that equal to 1. I know it's supposed to be less than 1, right, for y. Okay, so probably you knew that was going to happen that way, but I just wanted to show you how you can get your calculator to do it for you. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that with my cursor. I'm going to hit Control-C again, right, for copy. I'm going to bring the cursor down by hitting this button here. It brings it down, doesn't it? And then hit Control-V. Control-V is in another version of it, Control-V. And if you ever make a mistake and you with a with an equation and you just made one small mistake, you can recopy the whole thing. Control V, uh, sorry, Control C for copy. Control V for a new version, and then you can edit the version. Like I can't edit this up here right now, but now it's in an editable form. So I thought you might want to know that. So here's Control Store, and I'm going to store this as G of X. So G of X, and then I'm going to hit Enter, and it says done. Okay, so not very exciting yet, but this is going to get good for you in a second. So check this out. Hit Control, Page Down, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and add my graphs. From here, this is what I'm going to do. The first equation I was going to use was f of x, and it was greater than or equal to. So you can see the cursor blinking in front of the equal sign. I'm just going to backspace over it using this cursor right here, right? Whoops. Right, so I'm going to back over it. And then I'm going to use my greater than or equal to sign. So greater than or equal to, right? Now, it's okay. You can type in f of x, okay? Hit, type in f of x and then hit enter. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now remember the next one, the next one was less than, wasn't it? Or was greater than, wasn't it? And the next one is greater than. So let's go to this one, go to here, right? Just gonna tab down to here, and you can hit your you could do that with your tab key right there, right? I'm gonna backspace over that again, and this one is greater than, not greater than or equal to, but greater than, and we're gonna type in it's g of x, isn't it? So there's g of x, and we have that. Now this is really cool because you can see this. Remember, if it's greater than, a line is not greater than itself, so it shows up that dotted notation. The solid notation on the red, the solid notation here on the red, because the line is equal to itself, right? 
and our solution set is up here. This is actually really cool stuff. So I hope this is helpful for you. I'm, uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do. And I look forward to your feedback. And did I tell you it took me five times to make this video?